Hello, I just downloaded a texture pack here called Painty by Nikachu. It's for Banjo-Kazooie on Nintendo 64. I want to show you what you get. This is approximately 500 megabytes compressed. Uncompressed. The size isn't that much of a difference, but it's 6,369 files and 532 folders. Now, if you've ever tried to transfer approximately 6,400 files over a USB cable, it doesn't work too well. So I'm going to show you how to convert these files to HTC because you might not just be using these on your computer. Maybe you're using these on your phone also. I don't know. But you're free to use these on whatever you want to use them on. Now, I'm already in Project 64 now. I want to show you something in the graphic settings before I do anything. You need to go to Options and Graphic Settings, click Texture Enhancement, go down to Texture Pack Path, set this, and set your Texture Cache Path. I'd set all three of these because I was in the options anyways, but that's all you need is your Textures Path and your Textures Cache Path, which I made mine right here off the root folder of the emulator. Textures is here, Cache is there. We're going to take that texture pack and we're going to convert that into one file. All we're going to have to do is double click. So far, I haven't found a tool that does this besides Project 64, but to be honest, I haven't really looked. Well, that's a really big pack. That's been running since 5.20 a.m. It's got about 5,500 textures to dump total. So, I don't want you guys to have to sit there watching this whole thing. Ooh, that's not so good. I'm going to hit F12 and end the emulation now. So, just close that out. Go to the Textures folder. Go to the Cache folder. And your newly created HTC file will be sitting here waiting for you. And believe me... That file is going to load much, much faster than this did. This took approximately seven minutes to load. That's not good. But that's because that's the first time I've processed this texture pack. So if you're looking to know how to convert PNG texture packs or old rice texture packs over to HTC format for Movement 64, this is how you do it. One more thing I wanted to mention is if you click options and graphic settings you want to click the texture enhancement tab you want to make sure you've got these options checked use full transparency is recommended for newer texture packs alternative crc calculation for old rice video packs save enhanced texture cache to hard disk and compress texture cache but you're going to want to play around with these two top options possibly for older texture packs sometimes you're going to want to toggle these if the textures aren't working 100 percent correctly Anyway, I just wanted to show you those options because these are the options I use when I dump my old texture packs and convert to HTC. One last thing I almost forgot to mention. I went in a word pad really quick and wrote this down. You're going to want to transfer it to this folder in your RetroArch for Moopin64. I know I have mentioned this in other videos, but I just want to tell you again now in case you don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and see you in the next one.